The U.S. is in the middle of a record-breaking flu season. Virologist Andy Pekos joins Public Health on call this week to talk about why it seems like everyone you know is sick. What's novel about this year's flu is how quickly it is spreading once it gets to an area. So I look at some of these flu maps and I see states that are basically have no flu activity one week. Two weeks later, they're in epidemic stages. This surge in flu cases is due primarily to the emergence of the subclade K flu virus. This is a strain of the flu that has mutated in such a way that it's evading existing immunity you may have from a previous flu infection or from your flu shot. This is because the subclade emerged in June, about four months after this year's flu vaccine went into development. So when we chose the vaccine, when companies were making bucket loads of vaccine during the summer, the virus changed. And it's always the problem that we see with flu vaccines. But getting your flu shot can still protect you from severe illness, especially for high risk groups like those over 65 and people who are immunocompromised. And it also protects you from influenza B, which Peko says could flare up later this season. If you do get sick with the flu, there are antivirals available that can reduce the severity of your illness and symptoms. But the critical thing is making sure you take the antivirals within the first 48 hours or so of symptom onset. Uh, one of the things I try to tell people is it's it, this is a great time to be proactive. Call up your pharmacy and figure out how you could get flu antivirals if you were to get sick. 